Hey guys, welcome back to Simple Living and welcome to today's episode. If you're new here, my name is Ebeth and I typically do affordable home decor and home decor DIYs. If that makes any sense. I appreciate that you are here. It means a lot to me and let's get started with today's episode. If you guys remember in my on my Instagram, I had shared that I've been wanting to replace the coffee table that I had here. It used to be this really like ash brown or ash light brown tone, which was a rectangular table. I thought it was really cute, but and I did love it for a really good, a really long time. But then I realized that it just didn't work with our space and my style and our sectional. I personally think that if you have a sectional, a round coffee table or even a oval shaped coffee table works best versus a rectangular one because it just flows better in my opinion unless you do have a really large living room and you do have additional sitting but i only have an l sectional no other chairs around so to me i feel like the round coffee table works and looks best in my space so i finally was able to buy my coffee table i've been holding it off for like three days because i need to film this and i wanted to share with you guys my transformation so it's going to be like a little living room refresh also i had planned on putting my christmas tree away but i'm not going to because i just love how good it looks i i just can't i can't put it away yet i just can't <laughs> So this is basically the size of the table. This is how big it's gonna be. Obviously round doesn't make it so harsh, right? I was really nervous it would be broken. So the color is black brown. It looks a little bit more brown, but I like the fact that you will not be able to tell. I know that the camera's brightness is set up really high right now, so it does look a, little, a lot more brown on camera. Wait a minute. I can just flip it to this side. This side is black. I'm stunning myself whether I should just do the black brown option. <laughs> I'm second guessing myself. <laughs> just because the worst that can happen is that basically um, the board's gonna have holes on it. I mean, the brown is pretty, you know? But I want black because this is not the type of brown that I have going on throughout my house. So we're going to go with the black. And it says to use a screwdriver. There's no way that you can drill a hole with a screwdriver. I am aware that a lot of people do not like Ikea. I don't see why. Ah, oh, Ikea, this is comfortable. <laughs> I really don't understand why. I know that they're not real wood furniture and things like that. For the price, I think it's really fair. Like some pieces like obviously are cheaply made, 
but a lot of their items I really really love and they don't look cheap in my opinion depending on how you style the pieces so let me know in the comments if you love ikea or if you hate ikea i personally love it not all the pieces obviously there's ways that you can make it obviously look more luxurious and it doesn't have to be look cheap or look like you bought it at ikea here is the table all done i'm so excited look at it i ended up going with the black top because it would it just matched better in here and it does look obviously more like it flows better i guess i still need to arrange it and i need to wipe it so we're gonna do that and then add some decor pieces convinced that I didn't need anything for the new coffee table so the coffee table looks really beautiful I I love it so much it's exactly what I wanted and it goes really well in my living room except that I need a white low profile bowl that's kind of what I'm imagining that would look good there because anything taller kind of looks a little bit too big for the coffee table So I think that something like very low profile would look really pretty. But Aside of the fact that I went with a round table, I also decided to go with a glass, a glass table because I felt like my space needed something that was a little bit sheer in here. When you have a really small living room, if you add a lot of furniture and all of it is solid, it kind of feels overwhelming and too crowded. So I really felt like I needed something that was sheer and this makes it feel a lot more airy. And I mean, it also serves its purpose, which is a cute coffee table with functionality, but it also looks beautiful. That is all for today's episode thank you guys so much for watching as always i appreciate you so much it means the world to me that you watch my content don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already we will have more makeovers coming soon the dining is another one that i'm really excited about because i finally got my table so stick around for that and let me know in the comments below if you would have gone with the rectangular table because I feel like this is a controversial topic. There's people that will prefer a round table and people will prefer a rectangular one. So let me know.